these scenes are the top five scariest disturbing moments from Dragon Ball Z. Let's go. Hey guys, it's me Champ, and since it's spoopy season, I wanted to make a different kind of video talking about Dragon Ball, specifically the scariest moments that I remember watching from the Dragon Ball anime. Number 5, Gohan's Nightmare. Taking place right after Namek and Goku somewhere in space, Gohan is stuck with an abusive mentor and wishing that his dad would come home soon. One day, Goku finally arrives and greeted by his loving family. But once Gohan asks Goku on what happened to Frieza and Namek, Goku quickly becomes aggressive and tries to attack Gohan, only transforming into Frieza, mocking Gohan that he would never see his father again. This only occurred in the anime, and it also took place in the Legacy of Goku 2 game, and it was satisfying to beat up Frieza after he trash talks about your boy Goku. Also, dude, f that teacher with the whip. I'm glad he got what he deserved. How are you gonna whip a kid in front of his mother, you piece of garbage? Number 4, Cell's First Appearance. I think it's safe to say that this is the best way to introduce a villain. Already down on the luck and split up after being defeated by the androids, a new threat emerges in Gingertown and is wiping out the population. Leaving nothing behind but screams and articles of clothing, I remember reacting just like the Z Fighters when first hearing about some creature stealthily wiping out an entire population and no one knew what was going on. Plus, Trunks just discovered another time machine with a bug-like carcass. What was going on? Who was in this timeline and what was their plan? But then we finally meet one of the baddest, coolest villains of all, Cell. And right in front of Piccolo, when he first meets Cell, he drains a poor man's energy like he was a Capri Sun. My god. Number three, Trunks' warning. I think it's safe to say that when Trunks first discussed about the dark future that awaited the Z Fighters and describing the androids, it truly sounded like something out of a post-apocalyptic nightmare. The way that Trunks tells Goku that everyone is wiped out and that no one is safe from these monsters. Hell, what I remember Trunks describing them as is strong, unstoppable killing machines. Although I have to agree with Goku on this. He should have brought a picture of what they look like. But man, in the anime, they almost look like Majin Buu. Which is funny because later Goku when he has the heart virus and he has a nightmare, he's actually fighting one of those pink monsters and it definitely looks like Majin Buu. Possibly some foreshadowing in the anime? Speaking of Buu, number two, Buu eats everyone. Remember that time where Buu basically terrorized the last survivors of Earth on the lookout and turned them all into candy? Yeah, I wish I hadn't either. There's something about seeing the gang powerless to stop Buu and all they can do is try to run but only to be turned into sugary treats while screaming in their last moments. Pink light flashes throughout the lookout, and the only survivor is Dende, and our heroes go tanks and piccolos are trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber. Just saying, Yamcha's stream will forever haunt my dreams. <laughs> and number one, the most disturbing scary moment for Dragon Ball Z that I remember watching was Goku's nightmare, or his heart virus dreams. I have to say, this is one of the few scenes I specifically fast forward through all the time as a kid was Goku's second nightmare. In this dream sequence, Goku is powerless to stop the androids from killing everyone he cares about, watching Gohan, Krillin, Trunks, and Chi Chi perish from the androids' hands. Trunks got it the worst though, because he got stabbed by his own sword and... Jesus Christ! Although, how does Goku know what the androids look like if he's unconscious? It's not like he can read their power levels. I guess it doesn't matter because the scene was only filler in the anime, but damn, this scene was super dark. Definitely will say that this was the most scariest moment from the Dragon Ball Z anime, at least for me. But let me know what were your scariest moments. It could be different from mine. It could be any, any scene from the series that made you just terrified or disturbed or whatever. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, if you want me to do more of these, just let me know. I'm um, trying to shake it up a bit on the channel, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please always leave a like, share, always helps out the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.